Hey there, welcome back to Encouraging Word. I'm Dave, I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and uh, this is a brief encouragement from the Bible. Uh, we have uh, had an exciting weekend. Our youngest son, Darren, and his wife, Laura, had their third child, a uh, baby boy, uh, Henry Wilbur Emilius Findlay, was born early Saturday morning. We're very excited about it. Uh, it's our seventh grandchild, so... Uh, thank you for all the congratulations. We do appreciate it, and we're excited to see the baby. The baby right now is still in the hospital. He's got some problems uh, breathing right now, and we're anticipating that will clear up, but certainly you can remember him in prayer in the Brandon Hospital. This week, we're going to be talking about being people of love. Jesus said that one trait would mark us as followers of Jesus Christ, and that is love. By this, all men will know you're my disciples if you have loved one for another. That's John 13 and 35. Sadly, we've gotten so caught up in trying to define ourselves as followers of Jesus Christ, and we do it in odd ways. Um, are we Christians who baptize by immersion or by sprinkling? Do we take communion with real wine or with juice? Are we dancing Christians? Are we drinking Christians? Are we tongue-speaking Christians? Are we followers of Menno Simons or Jacob Hutter or Jacob Amon? Uh, the only thing people really need to know is, are we loving Christians? Do we do what we do out of love? Um, do we act in love? Do we speak in love? Uh, do we respond to what others do to us in love? Um, today in my devotions, I was reminded uh, of the difference between being a thermostat and being a thermometer. Uh, some people are thermometers uh, in that they reflect what's going on around them. Uh, if they're treated with love, they love back. If they're treated poorly, they act out poorly. If they hang out with honest people, they are honest. If they hang out with dishonest people, well, uh, they surround themselves with dishonest people. They act like them. The same can be said for regarding our manner of speech or virtually anything can be said that way. Thermostat people don't respond to others or to their situation, but rather they set the atmosphere. They set the tone. Um, if they are going into a difficult situation, they love. They, they up the tone by loving. Uh, if they face hostility, they love. Uh, they are the ones who set the atmosphere around them. Last week, it was cold outside here in Manitoba. Uh, the temperature or the thermometer told us that, uh, what the temperature was. But the thermostat inside allowed us to control the atmosphere of in the house. And we got to control that. We didn't have to sit in minus 30 uh, temperatures, but we could lift the temperature up to a place of comfort. Some people only hang out with Christians where it's always nice and comfortable. Um, Jesus told us to hang out with the broken, with the poor, with the distressed, and he told us to raise the temperature of those environments, to change our environment. Uh, we do that by loving the way he loved and by caring for people the way he cared for people. He taught us to love our enemies. He taught us to forgive those who have hurt us, to forgive those who have abused us, to forgive those who have used us in some way. He taught us even to give to those who might waste what we give to them on themselves. He taught us never to rationalize why we don't give to a person in need. God calls on us to allow our lives to be thermostats, to set the temperature of love and grace and kindness to people around us. Uh, we are to uh, love those who might be considered outsiders, to bring them into the fellowship, bring them into the warmth of our love, uh, those who might be lonely or hurt or angry. And frankly, uh, we all have these people in our lives. They're all around us. Uh, but remember what Jesus said, if we love even the least of these people, it's like we're doing it unto him. And so it is in our power to love people 
the way Jesus loved them. It's in our power to raise the, the atmosphere, the temperature around us and make it a temperature that reflects God's love. It may seem difficult, but with God's help, we can do it. There's no question about that. Let's pray together. Father, thanks for your grace and love in our lives. Lord, uh, we live in a world of, of hurt. We live in a world of brokenness, and yet, God, you've called us to change the atmosphere. You've called us to change the temperature. Uh, we pray that we will be people of love, that when we come into a situation, Christ comes into the situation, that we, when we speak, Christ is speaking, and we lift people up always. We lift the atmosphere and make it a loving atmosphere. Father, help us to be those kinds of Christians. Help us to be those kinds of followers, ones who follow and do what Jesus told us to do. So I pray you're blessed upon your people. Thank you for those who are, are that way and that those who have have loved the way you have taught us to love i pray you help each one of us do that on a regular basis in jesus name we pray amen hey have a great day god bless you trust that you will enjoy the love and presence of almighty god today god bless have a great day